currently there are over 2,500 foster students that are in the Los Angeles Community College District that have self-identified as being former foster youth. Um, coming out of high school, my counselor wasn't really um, the type to advise me to, you know, show me what my options were, um, even becoming, even being, you know, a foster youth. Um, my name is Sherry Walker. I'm a, a graduate. But as a former foster youth, um, it's very difficult when you don't have the support system, especially things like housing came into play. When I lost my housing while in a community college, it became very difficult to maintain my grades in school because again, when you're looking for a place to live, what are you gonna do in school? How are you gonna focus? Because at 18, when I got out of foster care, um, 2008, they just kicked you out. You better figure it out. You better get it together. You better learn really quickly. The impression that I got is how courageous they are to have faced some of the obstacles that they have faced and to have persevered in spite of those obstacles was um, extraordinarily inspiring. Once that box is checked and the school sees you and has you under that radar, um, eventually you are gonna have to see someone and speak to them about your financial aid and they'll let you know, well, you know what, you did mark that you were foster youth. There's some resources on campus that you might be eligible for. Students don't know about the district and it's so large that it's overwhelming. And for many who might not know of someone who's gone to college, it can be scary. So the thing we have to do is stop being so big and stop being so scary. And one way we can do that is by connecting with the folks that are on the ground to partner with them. And we have a lot of young people that need help, but we also have some people who are in the trenches doing the work and responding, all of whom exhibited a care, a sensitivity, uh, and a passion for addressing these young people. So the answer is yes, I am optimistic. It's not insurmountable. We've got nine colleges. We've got people dedicated to providing services. It's a matter of alerting them, bringing them to the table. I wish they had been here this evening to hear so that they could start talking about how do we do a better job of coordinating our services at each college and then between colleges so that the kids don't fall through the cracks. I feel very hopeful. Um, I'm inspired by their stories, by their courage, by their perseverance, and I want to mimic that in the work that I'm doing on the board. I have a lot of hope that um, people, you know, from the district, um, even from CASAs, just being more educated as far as what resources are offered on campus and hopefully housing, I know is one of, uh, you know, the biggest concerns that, you know, um, has people on the edge. It means so much to me that the actor would come in and be able to speak to us, that they would listen to our trials and errors, that they would listen to our tribulations and really take what we had to say to heart. There's so many obstacles that foster youth face that many people don't think about because they have parents. So this meeting was, it was so impactful, it was vital, and I'm gonna take the information I learned back to the nonprofits I work with.